I was 11 years old the first time I felt the ground shake. My instinct was to leave. But my grandparents wouldn't hear of it. This is our home, they told me. We don't leave. I came to live by that code. Earthquakes, tsunamis, typhoons, they're all part of life here. We accept them. We don't leave. When the evacuation was announced, I rejected it. This wasn't our way. Then I saw them. And I understood. This wasn't another disaster. This was a war. Nobody expected a nine-year-old girl from Tokyo to be fascinated by guns. Nobody imagined a 22-year-old university senior would drop out and train for the biathlon. Nobody believed that the daughter of a salaryman could win Olympic gold. And nobody predicted that a necrotic plague would decimate our planet's population. But life is all about the unforeseen. And nobody saw me coming either. I always wanted to be a cop. Thought I could do some good. But the scum on the street kept destroying lives. While I was wrapped up in red tape. stripped all that away, left us to fend for ourselves, and finally, the chains were off. Growing up in Tokyo, you either became a salaryman, or you were a waste. If you asked around, it's safe to say I was the latter. They said I lacked self-control. That I shamed my family. So my father sent me off to relatives in the States. Turns out, Americans care a lot more about earnings than honor. Which worked out fine. Until the Zeke showed up. The Japanese decided to evacuate. They didn't have the firepower to fight. But I had special skills. So when everyone else was leaving, I went home. 